Okay, now that you've got your glass in place and it's time to add your space warp, what we want to do is go back to the Create Palette. We want to go down to the Space Warp tool and then we want to pick on Geometric Deformers. Then we want to use Bomb. Then what we need to do is place the bomb roughly where the glass is going to be hit like so. Once that's done, we need to then link the bomb to the glass, like this. Now if we start to take a look at what's happening here, we can see very slight effects from the bomb taking place. So what I recommend you do is one, make sure the bomb is in the right place, both horizontally and vertically. So I know horizontally it is, but vertically it's not. So what I'm going to do is just pick it up. Oops. Mistake. I'm just going to pick up the bomb modifier and place it vertically where I need it. And then go back to the horizontal part of that. Okay, now we can see that the bomb is taking much more effect on the glass. So I'm just going to lock that bomb so it's the only thing that I can move here. And there we can see that yes, I'm, it's having a lot more effect on the glass. Now what I need to do is modify some of the settings on the glass on the bomb, sorry. The strength seems to be pretty good there. I don't really need to set it anymore. I'm going to throw a little bit of random spin in. So we have a look at what's happening there. We can see that the bits start to spin around. Um, I'm going to set a maximum size of, say, 6. And a minimum size of, say, 3. And that's the individual segments the glass can break down into. Um, I'm just going to move this space warp modifier just down a little bit so that the glass doesn't fall below the table. I'm going to put a little bit of chaos into this. And I'm just going to change the seed. We just need to manipulate the placing of this bomb until we can get it so the glass isn't falling through the table so much.